One of the things I like, well, like and dislike about this current world we have is there are a lot of dudes in this society. I'm sure women too, but I'm not going to speak for women right now. There are a lot of dudes in our society who grew up without a good father or a good male influence in their lives. And when you get older, then you, you need that direction. You need help. So I don't like that part. But here's one part I do like. I do like that there are people out there, easy, readily available people out there that are offering these lessons. Lessons men need, lessons a lot of men didn't get through no fault of their own, lessons that are going to help us all be a little bit better. One of the best accounts out there if you're on social media, on Twitter, and I'd highly recommend his Substack for this kind of stuff, not politics, just more life stuff, is Ed Lattimore former heavyweight boxer who will punch your head off your shoulders. And you can also find him at edlattimore.substack.com. Ed, first of all, who are you and where'd you come from? Hey man, so I'm Ed Lattimore. You hear me all loud and clear? Got you loud and clear. Just making sure. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm Ed Lattimore, man. And I, I, I came from came from another human just like the rest of us. And that was I was born in Pittsburgh, PA. Grew up there. Uh, Typical kind of at-risk youth, childhood, single mom, public housing, all you know, the whole nun. And I faced a lot of those issues that you were talking about. And, and you know, it figured figured things out through a lot of a lot of hard work, um, a lot of a lot of events. You know, putting myself into these difficult positions because I think one of the things that that you don't get. When you don't have a masculine influence in the, uh, around or in the house or anything positive, really like that, of a masculine nature, you don't realize the necessity of pushing yourself and getting uncomfortable, and and really seeing what you're made of. But but not in a way where it's like you know I see a lot of the stuff that's online today, where it, it talks about this idea of getting out of your comfort zone, being pushed to your uncomfortable. But it's like nah, you know, the, it, it's one thing to do it. Consciously, you, you're not gonna push your heart. It's, it's a totally different story when you're when you're in the ring or when you're when you're in the street or you're figuring out how to feed yourself that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so so I picked all that up and I really think I've turned into a um, certainly someone that is you could do worse uh, in terms of people to listen to. Uh, I think I have I think I have a lot of, of good things to say. At the very least, what I try to do is live a good life for myself and. And everyone else, if they follow that example, I think it will turn out pretty well. Yeah, no, you're one of the better ones for that kind of stuff. Ed, you talk about making yourself uncomfortable a lot, especially as a man. Explain that to me. Why should I want that, Ed? I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to be uncomfortable. As soon as I'm done and I take the CRP out of my ear, I want to throw on some sweats <laughs> and I want to sit down with the pizza and I want to put my feet up on the couch. I don't want to be uncomfortable. Why do you want me to be uncomfortable? You know, so so that's not. First of all, there's nothing wrong with feeling that way. That's that's how we um, how we're designed. The way I learned to say it, the most general way in physics is that all all organisms seek the most energy efficient configuration. I.e., we try to we try to get as most for as little as we can put out. But but there's no if if you only do that. There's only so much you can get. You'll get just enough to survive, and then that's pretty much it. And yeah, like, like look, survival was easy, and it's gotten even easier. Like, there's a lot of people alive today who are only here, you know, because fresh drinking water is never more than 15 minutes away. You know, it, it's not it's not a very hard life, but you you need to be exposed to these difficulties. You need to break out of that homeostatic kind of comfort zone to become more capable and more efficient because look, life will get harder. That's one thing that is like very clear that whatever you're doing at 20 or however you're living, it's, it's harder than it was to do at, at 15. You can't really, you don't really know. But then when you turn 25, you look and see, oh man, some of these, some of these cats I went to school with, they're all good, they got money, they're, they're living, but not everybody. So you can kind of ignore that. But by 30, it's like, ooh, we're bad and by 35, it's nuts, and after that, you know, you just kind of, kind of disappear, and you're all you're in, you're stuck in your ways, unless you you shake yourself out of that comfort, and that means you have to do things by definition that are difficult because it's not in that zone of energy efficiency, you know, like something basic that everyone uses as an example, but it's very true and illustrates the point well. Going to the gym and building your body up. 
Bro, it, it really is awesome to just sit around. And it, I mean, I don't think it's awesome anymore. It makes me sick to think about it. But at, at some point, uh, a lot of us think it's awesome or thinks it's awesome or thought it was awesome to, to chill out, watch Netflix all day and and eat junk food and, and, and drink soda or beer, whatever your poison is. But, but okay, but you're going to get older. Your body is going to degrade. It's going to start breaking down against time, against gravity, just against the, the forces of life. And if you don't build that up, uh, right, you'll, be, you'll, you'll end up spending the, the, your last years, which will be shorter, by the way. You won't have as many. You'll end up spending them sick. It's the same if you don't, don't work and develop a skill. It's, it's very easy to just be stupid. Very easy. Uh, being stupid doesn't really pay well. So <laughs> you probably should not be as stupid as as you can be, unless you're like a great athlete, and even then you might do something dumb. But but that's a scenario too. You still have to work very hard. There there's no way around this if you want to have anything that resembles a nice time on this planet. And you only got what 70, 80 years. You know, hopefully they're nice. They're they're a good time. You're not you're not suffering. <laughs> you know. Support the first TV today and get instant access to exclusive specials like Who is Ron DeSantis? The History of FBI Scandals and America's Worst Presidents. Visit thefirsttv.com slash support or download the First TV app to become a supporter and start watching today.